All right, so we're out at one of our favorite riding spots on the brand new Ultra B, camping for the weekend, about to take the bikes out and see how they do. Yeah, unfortunately, I think some of our customers have ridden the Ultra B before us. I'm a little embarrassed about that, to be honest. So one thing that's tricky <laughs> is uh, owners of the business, we have a responsibility to get our bikes out to our customers first. So we are lagging a little bit behind, but we're finally out. We're about to put some time in on a couple of, what, a stock Ultra B and an Ultra B with some 1821 wheels on it, just to compare the two. Christian's gonna ride Gold Member today, so that'll be fun. And we actually have a special guest. He's behind the camera right now. Who else is riding with us? Yeah, we brought Brett with us so that he can actually give us a more unbiased opinion of this bike because he's out riding constantly, knows how to push his light B really fast, really well. And now he's gonna move over from what may have been tuned to a 12, 14, 15 kilowatt light B to a 12 and a half kilowatt Ultra B. Yep. Already on a 72 volt battery. Other people are already getting what, 35, 40 miles of range? Yeah, uh, I mean, Tucker got what, 45 in his range test, 25 mile an hour range test. So I think one question we get often is, you know, how do you compare the two? Light B, I always think of small, agile, fun, nimble, playful. You can ride it anywhere you want, get away with it. Ask all the kids in your neighborhood wheeling up and down the street, right? Rarely get in trouble versus Ultra B that looks like a dirt bike. Ultra B, I have a feeling I'm gonna have to take it a little bit more seriously so that it, it doesn't bite me. Right? Yeah, it, it feels like a bigger bike. So we'll talk about that on the <clears> ride. Uh, we'll, one of us will do an 1821 versus stock tires uh, review during this because uh, everybody probably knows we're selling KKE 1821s uh, to put some massive tires on these things with some big knobbies and uh, we'll do a little comparison during this ride on that. When you're watching the video, if you see the gold handlebars, that's my bike at the moment. It's got the stock wheels on it. The other two bikes have 1821. Let's go ride. Let's do it. Yeah, buddy. All right, guys, very first ride, like literally first ride. Let me get used to this bike a little bit first. Um, more weight, but obviously a lot more, a lot more power. There we go, let's get it. All right, handlebars are a little low for me, um, but you know, stock bike, besides the wheels, tires. To be expected. These bikes are probably going to be perfect height for most riders that are not six feet tall. How did those 21s feel through all those sandy turns? It felt really good. I, yep. I wish my bars were just a little bit higher. Like these? I, yeah, yeah. Like those. Those yeah same perfect. here. Yeah, it's just like a little for forward. I can only imagine how forward that bike feels though, being on 1919. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta be careful on the turns. The front end definitely wants to push and, and wash out. I haven't experienced that yet, but I agree with the taller bars. Yeah. I'll do that on for our next ride. This doesn't feel like it's gonna be very pushy. Like it feels manageable. Yeah. Sweet. Well, I'll try not to go down in front of you. All right. <laughs> That is eating me alive on the inside. Oh, you need tall boots? Yeah, this is probably a tall boot bike. Yeah, I think you're right. I think we're gonna have to bring back the full dirt bike concept with these bikes. Yeah, I think so too. I'm fully geared up and I don't feel that at all. Right. I'm puffing already, geez. Oh yeah. Arm pump? Calm down. I haven't on a Sur on yet. Did you guys not watch my technique video? Oh, I watched it. we're holding on too tight, right? Afton's in the back saying, go faster. I know. <laughs> How's your bike feel? It feels awesome. Those whoops are fun. Sweet. Suspension's a little harsh. Yeah, it's uh, it's weird. It doesn't feel reactive. Yeah. Like, 
like I'm used to light beep being so reactive on everything. This just feels like almost like slow. laggy and heavy. And, yeah. But it's not like you can still whip this thing around though. I, I feel like if you had more power to it, the suspension would actually feel better. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, I was just saying for the money, it's a lot of bike. As it sits, 6,500 stock, 7,500 with our wheels and tires on it, and that's it. That's a, this is a really good starting package, I think. Yep. For, it definitely feels like a big bike, though. It does. It's not the super tiny, playful, light beat. I'm being a little careful with the weight, because we're already moving pretty decent clip. I don't want to throw it down without understanding how it reacts yeah, yet. For sure. But on the, those are pretty good size whoops. Yeah. We're doing okay. It's uh it's doing good. It's nice. kind of eating them up. Got a little stuck on those 19s. Oh, look at that. Jeez. That's supposed to be the crossing. That's crazy. Wash number one. Let's go kill some batteries. Yeah, deep sand. <laughs> go. Oh, God, in the softer stuff that's for sure I mean, this is stock tires on the ultra but they're way better than the tires that come on the light feet so it's pretty awesome <laughs> they're rained oh look at this there's water oh look at that i've never been in here with water this is awesome dude this is awesome oh my gosh no this is so cool Cool. I've never been in this wash with that. What? <laughs> That's sick. First casualty, the reflector off the rear fender is going down like a tugboat. I just kicked it off. All right. Sliding into home base, huh? That's your, Not bad. That's his style. There's water, so there must be snow. Sweet. Let's go. Feels pretty good. It's got few suspension things that I'm not really liking though and I think I can work with the current like settings on this tune to get it feeling better on the trail but I know I won't like it on motocross that's for sure it's a better trail bike I will say the brakes are amazing That's deep. <laughs> when it hits these washes, there's so much water run off, it's kind of crazy. Big hill. Woo! See what it does. I'm wide open right now. I'm running up that. Wow, that was cool. Afton is all the way down on that trail and I can hear Goldmember just screaming. Yeah! Oh! We're on the wrong trail. Ah. Look at him just eating that hill alive. Yeah. These are stock tires coming up. So stock tires was okay. In the sand, I wanted your tires. Yeah. Um, and uh, it, it does want to wash if you're high speed turning on this thing. Uh, on the rocks and everything, it's fine. I did hit a rock really hard at the bottom. You guys probably felt it too on the bottom of the hill right here. Yeah. Um, it was a pretty good impact, but it was fine. No pinch flat. 
I mean, this is far more capable than a light bee yeah. out of the box, yeah. that's yeah. for sure. Yeah. It's so. a, I think it's a really solid trail bike oh, yeah. as it sits. I, I can't imagine trying to race this thing. But. I was just saying the same thing. If you're racing, you're going to keep it pinned wide open the whole the time. The whole time. There's no... Manage the weight. It's fully on, fully off. <laughs> yeah, but against a stock light bee, you'd smoke it. Oh, right? yeah. No, you... This isn't even the same class no, of bike. It's a, this is a big bike. Yeah. Going downhill on this bike with the stock wheels, you got to be a little careful. I don't know if you felt. I was watching just... you, dude, and you were just dancing. Yeah. I, I I even mentioned I was like, this bike feels so stable, and he just looks like he's playing right now. <laughs> like. Yeah. The the front going downhill is a little scary. You got to be careful. Yeah. Yeah. This was very stable that whole time. Got Nate up front. Brett in front of me. Oh, that was slick. I almost went down. That was uh, way more muddy than it looked. I'm extremely impressed by it as a, as a trail bike. Easy to control. Uh, just enough power that I'm not going to get myself in too much trouble. But enough power to have a ton of fun. to catching somebody as fast as, or uh, chasing somebody as fast as Brett. I'm usually chasing people slower than me and he's faster than I am, so if I let him get ahead, like now, it's a lot harder to catch him. Oh, look that burn. Man, I gotta figure out regen on this thing, if it's adjustable or not. Doing a lot of regen. Whoa, that's different. Wow, look at this. <laughs> These are so different than they normally are. Whoops, with, whoops, with rust. Well, that was different. <laughs> All right, battery trek. So we went from camp, we went up to the top of the mountain, did the whoop trail, came around back. We're heading down now. I'm at 68% Afton. 67. 67, so identical. 60. Wow. 61. So you get that tell so you guys were in the front a lot more than we were moving faster, so uh, you guys burned another 7, 8% above the two of us, but What's interesting is we've kind of been going the same speed other than the beginning and these two bikes are identical in range at the moment. Mm -hmm. So a question on Instagram yesterday was does the 1821s kill your range and do we recommend a different sprocket on 1821 wheels? So far the power is good enough. I mean I, I can't complain about the power. It does feel good. What, what size sprocket is on these right now? Well it's different gearing so it's not the same as a uh, uh, light B and it's a 520 chain, which means the pitch is different. So um, Actually, that's been a common question that we've had and uh, The important answer is you can't compare a light B sprocket to an ultra B sprocket totally different gearing and the chain uh, The pitch of the chain changes everything. Yeah. The only stock bike we've ever ridden on this route is the Talaria when we first got it Compared to our experience that Talaria on this exact same trail. Nate, tell me about it. Well, that Talaria almost killed me on that ride. I, I wanted to get off that bike and not get back on it because the suspension wasn't good enough. The brakes weren't good enough. Uh, Tires. I, the stock bike is pitched forward. So I felt like I was going to go over the bars every time the front end bottomed out. This was on a first gen before they fixed the geometry of it. Yeah. The way this is set up right now, when I get riser bars on this bike, I'm good. I think you just volunteered to switch bikes. You want riser bars and bone stock. Let's go. Man, come on. 
<laughs> this bike's too good. Hey, Brian's don't don't it. break my uh, iPhone. No, no promises. I laid your bike down three times. <laughs> Serious? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Shit. Oh. Oh shit. Don't Good. break my uh, iPhone. No, no promises. <laughs> Oh man. So it's the way it's pushing is when you're turning, it's not just pushing um, under normal load. When you're on the throttle at all, it's going all the way through. Yeah. So maybe the technical reason of, or definition of pushing, but I'm trying to stay forward to weight it. But even with my weight on it turned, it's still going straight. Yeah, it's a weird sensation. It huh? is. So I can tell the front end's low. Your bars do feel good. Um, the traction that you feel of getting out of anything it just spins yeah. so, i did something on this bike i would not have done on that bike okay so you know how back there there was a about a two and a half foot yeah. ledge yeah. i jumped off of it after he passed <laughs> me oh man i almost messed that up and on this bike with the big tire it saved me because it started to give away as i yeah. dropped and i almost endoed on that bike i would have endoed yeah. for sure <laughs> oh my gosh, I wish I was closer to Brett. He's, he's like a kid in a water park. Oh, I'm on the edge and I don't want to go off. That's just pure smiles. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you hit it with stock tires. Nope. Valiant attempt. Motocross style. Oh Let's go. Oh, I'm so close. I messed up my turn. Oh, I'm going to do it though. Oh, that's so steep, but I made it. Only the KTM free ride has been up here before. Because actually the Arctic Leopard, we never quite got to the top. So there we go. Oh yeah. He did it better than I did. Yep. Yours looks pretty good. Nice. I don't think he let off once. He bounced off that rock pretty high. You put a rim lock on those wheels? Oh yeah. Dang. That was pretty sweet. Yeah, nice. That was awesome.